Hello and welcome to Access Paranormal. My name is Jamie Williams and joining me in the studio for the time being is Marie Spriggs. Hello, Hi. Marie. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. I nearly caught you out then, didn't I? You did. <laughs> trying to get me word in before you. <laughs> <laughs> well, this week, all we've been doing is just sitting in the house because we've had so much work going on. We just decided to sit in all evening, didn't we? Mm -hmm. um, what have we been watching? Uh, YouTube, Dark Territory. And um, where were they? They were in Ancient Ram in one down, of the good places. Yeah, down in Gloucestershire there. It is. And um, we've done that place, haven't we? So we have a couple of times. So we really enjoyed watching it, didn't we? It's good to see what they're doing and we know what rooms they're going in. We know what to expect because of what we've found and things like that. So yeah. it was good and to listen to what they found as well. And well, yeah. That's on, yeah, so it's good to watch that on YouTube, isn't it? That Oh, uh, definitely. I mean, it, it, we, we sat there, didn't we? We were just like, the stuff they were getting was brilliant. Yeah, it was good. You know, so anybody who hasn't watched it yet, go and watch it. It's on YouTube on the Dark Territory. And also the Mill Street Barracks ones in it. Got to get that oh, in, yes. haven't I? <laughs> but, you know, when, when they were in the um, ancient Ram in, they, they had some good stuff, didn't they? The, the Bishop's Room. Yeah, the Bishop's Room. That's where we fell asleep. Uh, <laughs> on, a, on, on an actual <laughs> on investigation. On an actual invest. We were yeah. doing a call out and um, we were listening in and we, all of a sudden everybody just went quiet. And um, I don't know how long we was asleep for, but there was me, you, Gail... And um, we just fell asleep. You was in the chair. Me and Gail mm. was on, the, um, I think there was two beds or three there's, beds there's in there. There's three beds in there. We yeah. better say that because they might all think we're all three of us were in the same bed. No, we're all <laughs> sick. They're only single beds, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, we all fell asleep. And then Jamie woke up with a bit of a startle, wondering where the hell he was and yeah. wondering why two women are in his room. <laughs> oh, I wasn't wondering. <laughs> but yeah, it, it was a really good night as well, Lal. I mean... But what they got was a lot more than what we, we had. I and mean, we had yeah, some stuff that we could explain. But <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, but poor Carl. They, did, they, oh, they didn't I with know. him, did they? They, they? they tied him up, threw him on one. Well, they, they didn't did. throw him, but they put him on one they, of the beds. Yeah, they tied his arms yeah. behind him, his, but, yeah. his ankles. Yeah, yeah. We, we won't say what happened because it's, it's wor yeah. well worth watching, isn't it, that one? Yeah. And it was it was really good. What You know, they had other stuff in there. And there's only three of them. It was, yeah, uh, it was really uh, good. Yeah, the, the Sean Kenner, uh, Sean Owen, yeah, and Carl. And I can't think of Carl. Do you know what? I'm, you know how and bad I am. there's only one Carl. But you know how bad I am so. with names, don't you? <laughs> I'm no good with names whatsoever. But um, yeah, it was a good one, that. But they also, I mean, obviously they done here, which we were a bit biased about, and it was really good. But they also went to Hack Green as well. We only watched part of that, though. We've still got to watch the rest of it. We have, and that's another place we've been. Yeah. Isn't it? That's it was. The, that's the one where you're in the middle of nowhere, really. And mm -hmm. when you're going out for a break, it's that pitch black. You could see every star in the sky. It it's an amazing. absolutely amazing view. And the place was brilliant to invest as well. Wasn't oh, yeah. It? And, and, and the other one we've been watching, I know people are going to go, oh, what? I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Oh, yes. <laughs> because they're in that, the castle. I call it Gwyrick Castle. I can't pronounce it, but hey-ho. Yeah. That's what we've been calling yeah. it, yeah. But we've been there. We've done a couple of investigations there, and it's a very spooky place. So it was good back. It was good to, to look back on that one, you know, it even is. though it was, you know, the programme. That's the reason why we're watching it, is it because of the castle. Yeah, because um, and my mum was on about it. Um, a few yeah. weeks ago because she's seen it back in the day when it was all done up all mm. the marble staircase all everything she was telling me about that which i was gobsmacked because we've only seen it in its ruin mm. um well, so it's yeah. fantastic to see it now yeah. yeah oh i'd love to get i'd love to get hold of the owner and do an interview with him definitely but we, we have to look into we, what we'll do is we'll look into the the castle and we'll do a, a, you know the history of or the ghost yeah. stories of the castle but a little bit earlier on today, because obviously social distance and uh, Magista came into the studio and uh, we talked about astral projection and we told a little bit about his book. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play that interview so everyone can listen to what goes on. So I hope you all enjoy this. This is Magista a little bit earlier on in the studio of Access Paranormal. So joining us in the studio now is Magista. The author of Tread the Dark Night Softly. Welcome to the show, Jay. Hi, greetings, Jamie. How are you? I'm fine, thanks very jolly much. Jolly good, jolly good. 
which was well, just about all right, actually. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't resist. Um, your book's doing well. Is it? Yep. A lot of people who I've brought it, you know, talked about it too, or all want to, you know, want to buy it. And Jonathan, who will be here in the studio later on, he's actually ordering one, so that's brilliant, isn't it? Excellent, yeah. So before you go, I want you to sign one for him. That's okay. Not a problem, yeah. not a problem. So your books now, you can pre-order it, can't you? You can do indeed, yeah. mainly from um, Waterstones and Amazon Online. Right, and also you've got an email, haven't you? What do you I have got an email as well. It's all lowercase, and it's magister at email.com that's magister at email.com i'll just spell that for you m a g i s t e r at email.com superb and you received the books a couple of weeks ago didn't you about a week ago wasn't it about two weeks ago two weeks ago yeah what was it like when you arrived christmas all in one day perfect that's a great way of it and I'm going to get you, because we're going to be talking about astral projection soon. Astral projection, yeah. yeah sure. And you've got a poem in the, the book about astral projection. Indeed, so I have. Once we've done the interview, could you read that to us? Indeed, I can, yes. Brilliant. So let's go on to the astral projection anyway, because okay. we, 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 we tapped into it last time you were here. Yeah. And obviously, we had a few listeners who were really interested in it. And also, you've had people contacting you since then as well, yeah. you know, talking about it. So, you know, for those who, who didn't hear about it... it what is astral projection? Astral projection is, it's an expanded consciousness almost. But most people will know astral projection through the dreams. They, dreaming is a form of astral travel. But mainly when I do it, I meditate. I come out of my body and I go mm-hmm. onto the astral planes, which there are many, many realms. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And is it easy to actually do this or did it you have to do a lot of training? It takes some yeah. practice to do it. Um, yeah. Other people are just naturals. I wasn't. I mm. had my first astral projection when I was 14. Um, didn't go too well, first of all. I, I meditated. I ended up falling asleep. Um, woke up because I was m- ready for my tea. Mm. Then my dad shouted up, you know, Jay, mm. you know, come down and yeah, get your tea. Yeah. And I kind of thought, oh, okay. So I actually shot up out of my bed and put my, my hand straight through the door handle. Oh and I realised yeah. I'd done it, and mm-hmm. I thought, okay, now I've got to go down to my teeth, so I'll have to get back into my body. Mm-hmm. So, yes. And then you got into trouble, or almost got into trouble with the school, didn't you? <laughs> yes, that was an interesting yeah. one. Um, about a week or so later, I thought, I've got to do this again, and just prove to myself that astral projection is mm-hmm. real. And I'd, I'd gone to bed about, I don't know, six in the evening, something like that, maybe seven. Um, it was getting dark. Came out of my body and I thought, I've got to go somewhere, where do I go? So I went to my school and all that week I'd been making a clay sculpture of a head. Um, went into the arts department and there was the head sitting there on a um, on a desk. And um, I managed, through will alone, to actually knock it off the desk and it f- fell on the floor and broke. So the following day when I went into school, I went in a bit earlier and uh, there was my teacher cleaning up this de- you know, this head off the floor. And I thought, okay, that's proved the point. And the rest is history. I've been on many planes, uh, many different realms. Mm-hmm. Um, the Akashic plane as well, the Akashic records. Uh, there are, <sighs> for as many planets there are out there which inhabit life, believe it or not, mm-hmm. there are as many counterpart planes of existence. Mm-hmm. So like the, this earth plane we have here we have about i don't know 15 different planes of existence different realms so each planet out there each livable planet out there has the same right and when you when you go to these realms yes are they all completely different yes you know in the different in looks different in okay that's an interesting subject because mm. as soon as you come out your body on the physical plane mm-hmm. you can travel around when you go onto the astral plane it's basically a replica of the earth plane that you know so you can still kind of wander and look into shops and things like that the further up you go the more distance it gets from mm. that plane but there's still you can still hear echoes like if i went into the astral plane now i could hear echoes of you probably talking to jonathan mm-hmm. yeah so the further up you go on the scale that gets less and less and then it gets into its own own countryside right yeah so when you get to these planes yeah 
obviously you're in your astral body now the, the reason i'm going to ask this is because obviously we do paranormal investigations yes um and we're obviously trying to contact people yeah when people come through yeah could they have come from the the, the astral section of it yes do you understand so. what i mean so yeah. say i was called spirits out, reside you, yeah in the so astral plane right so you could if, if you were in your astral in an astral projection yeah and we were, you know, in a, in a location, and we were doing an investigation. You could make contact with us. Yes, you can. Yes. Wow, that's incredible, aren't it? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just trying to get my head around it because obviously we do paranormal investigations. And when we were talking about when we, you know, we said we were going to do the subject on yeah. astral projection, could they cross over? Yes. And another question is: is if you're in an astral projection state? Yes. Can you see these spirits as much as they can see you? Or oh, yes. You can, you yeah. Can, you can interact yeah. with them. You can, right. Because yeah, so there, yeah. there is a live there yeah. as they ever were here. Mm -hmm. When you think about it, when you think about people saying, you know, they've died, mm. they, what all they've really done is passed on from this physical plane of existence to the astral plane of existence. Right. So when you astral project... Yeah, life goes on. Yeah, when people pass on after they so called die, mm. life does carry on. This is what you call, you know, eventually they'll reincarnate mm -hmm. and they'll come back to learn more lessons from here, right? Which is so what they've got to do. It's, it's like a circle, then, isn't it's it? You, a circle you know, of you life, go yes. so when, when you go into the astral projection, yeah, you know, have you still got the same thoughts as, as, as you are here? Yeah, you know. So you can think, well, do you know what? I'll astral project to, say, like Australia. I'll astral, yeah. astral project to the moon, Mars, yeah. Jupiter, and things yeah, like yeah. that. And you can just travel. As, can you travel? Action follows thought right? in the astral realm. So if you think about it, you think mm. about where you want to be, you will go there. So you can you can actually think it as well? Yeah, very much so. Right. I'm, I'm just getting my head around it, because no, obviously, okay. you know, and obviously for the listeners out there as well. Yeah. So... Do you just do you just think to yourself? Do you know what I think? I'll astral project to. I'm, I'm, I mentioned Australia before, so I think I'll go to Australia tonight or something like that. And at the you know the click of a finger, you Speed can be the there. Be the light. Yeah. It's, it's not necessarily once you're out of your body, once you're out of the mm. physical body, and you think about it, then you will go. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So all it is is. When you meditate, you're, you're changing yeah. your vibrational structure. Yeah. Yeah? So the energy part splits from the physical part. Mm -hmm. Yeah? And it's your consciousness more that's traveling than anything else. Right. So now, when we die, the only difference is you're connected by an astral cord, which mm -hmm. is infinite. Yeah. The only difference is when you die that snaps and your your soul will then go into your astral body your consciousness and then you can that's it okay <coughs> so is it like um when you go into this astral projection is it like virtual reality you know when you put the the, the things well, on your eyes virtual reality yeah it, yeah but in in a way it's like yeah, virtual yeah. reality Basically, if you get yeah. what i mean yeah yeah because if you put them on, you can go wherever you want, yeah, can't and you? And you can so in the astral world as well. Yeah, that that I was just trying to, what is it, put in my own in in like a, a position where I understand that yeah. kind of yeah. thing. Comprehend. And that, yeah, comprehend. Yeah, that's the word. Yeah, <laughs> you got too many good words for me. <laughs> mm. But yeah, I mean, do you astral project all the time, or or just when you feel like it, or uh, well, if um, if it's daytime, I will kind of meditate and I'll astral mm -hmm. project wherever I want to go. Or when I'm asleep, um, I will start off probably by having I'll meditate, then I'll mm. I'll, I'll kind of wake up in a sleep, kind of yeah. lucid dream, and then I'll change that to a, a full blown astral projection. Wow, and I know I'm asking you the questions because you're the only person who know. You know, <laughs> <laughs> everyone no, well does it. You know, I've, well I've known you, just you don't realize they do it. Yeah, but I've known you for years. So yeah. You mentioned earlier on about dreams. Yeah. So when we have dreams, is that a kind of, like you said, it's a kind of astral, uh, astral, astral projection, projection the yes. word, yeah. Is, so in, in what way the, is the dreams connected to like an astral projection, if you understand what I mean? Because in every part we all come out of our body, our consciousness transcends from this physical realm to mm. the astral realm. Got, yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, it's very complicated. Well, it it's sounds it complicated. It is and it isn't. Yeah. Once you understand yeah. a bit more, um, you know, I mean, I'm not clever, but I'm knowledgeable. Mm. Yeah. So there's there's a bit of a difference. Yeah. And when, I've got to ask this, is when you go into astral projection, mm. do you meet anybody else who's astral projected? If oh, you yeah, you, can, you know, yeah. like you meet people here, you, yeah, can, yeah. you can bump into them. Yeah, very much so. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And when my um, parents died some years ago, Mm. In, in fact, every kind of relation that has rel or so to say relative that's died mm. in my family, I've always met up with them on the astral planes. So it's like um, a higher kind of mediumship, if you get what I mean. Oh, you, it's a you're higher mediumship. Yeah. There's no two yeah. ways. It's yeah. a higher vibration yeah. that we travel at. Yeah. yeah. So go, going back to the beginning where, you, you know, you started. Yeah. You know, you, you, you became you were able to do this tractal projection yeah what made you want to do it w well what started it i'd had strange dreams and nightmares as a child and i must have been about four and i didn't realize i was having these nightmares or wh what they were and i probably got to a, a just around eight years old and i had one specific nightmare come dream and I've never forgotten about it to this day, where I, I saw like a, a large, dark, foreboding mountain with lightning coming off the top of it. Mm -hmm. And as I'm watching this, this was a reoccurring dream every night. I thought, I've, okay, I've got to climb to the top of this mountain to see where this lightning's coming from. So I climbed to the top night after night. And when I finally got on top of it, there was like a flat surface, like a, a flat stone, like an obsidian flat mm. surface black with markings in it and stuff and then it was like a stone hinge replica on top of this mountain mm -hmm. and then in the center of it was a large throne stone throne and this kind of mirror character sitting there and i thought okay this is this is interesting you know who's this and we spoke and he just said to me you know in time you were right. You were right about metaphysics. And I thought, what, what's metaphysics? You know, I, I, mm. I don't even know how to say it. <laughs> I'm still, you know, Janet and John kind of thing. What's metaphysics? <laughs> so anyway, that was about, about when I was eight years old. So when I came back from my dreams and I spoke to my mum and dad about it, and you know, my mum knew a bit more about the subject than, than my dad did. So she said, oh, it's, it's I think it's it like... Eastern philosophy, that kind of thing, mm. and we went to our local library. And now, now I couldn't get any books out of the library, you know, of that age because they were all in the adult section. So she said, "I'll get you some books out." So we did, and we got some books out on, you know, the occult and stuff. Like that. Now, don't get me wrong, or the word occult wrong. The, the occult just means the unknown or hidden. Mm -hmm. It's nothing kind of demonic <coughs> about it. You know, okay, some people do practice like know a lot of darker stuff but in this case it wasn't it was just pure metaphysics mm. and I thought, okay well i've got to, i'm going to start reading these books so it is i started getting books out and i read about one a week up to you know for a few years and right. then i started getting more and i ended up reading about five a week and just amassing this this information and finally when i got to 14 i had my first house about it well you know my first house about the experience but it was only in the locality but then it went from higher planes to higher planes to higher planes to the Akashic records to everywhere. So uh, what did it feel like the first when the first time you, you astral projected mm. and you and, and, and it was like just the one in your bedroom? Yeah. But what how did it feel to you? Did it feel strange? We was it, did it, it feel real or it, it felt weird, weird in the you know when I first was lying there and I was kind of this like this vibration feel all over me and I thought what is that? It's like, you know that's a bit bit scary and then all of a sudden you know I heard my dad and you know I, I just shot up. So you just it was like a jolt. It was like a jolt. It yeah. was my will kind of forcing myself yeah. out of my body to go downstairs and get my yeah. get my you tea. You must have a lot of patience to, to be able to do that. The thing is, a lot of people who I've spoken to uh, from a couple of weeks ago when I was on, mm. um, they've had experiences where you know they feel this vibration and then they get fearful because they know it's close and they think, oh, what am mm. I going to say? And there's going to be scary things there and what have you. So, uh, you know, and once they have a fear, they stop. Right. It's getting over that initial fear. Yeah. 
and you'll be fine. So I, I know you, you you were saying to me on the way here, um, I'm saying on the way here, on the phone, sorry, mm. that um, somebody spoke to you who'd astral projected. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So how d- how did they feel, that, you know, because obviously you've had a conversation with that person. How did they feel or were they r- ringing you to basically get some advice? Basically, we were getting advice because yeah. they'd had an astral projection, but they didn't know what it was mm. or where to go and what have you. So I talked about them about the first level of resistance and they said, okay, that makes sense. And I talked about other planes and how to get there and, you know, that made a lot more mm. sense. But, you know, since then, you know, this, this person's actually been to the Akashic Records. Oh, right. I think this guy's actually an actual. Yeah. So that was that was good. Yeah. But he, he needed to, uh, that reassurance, really. Yeah, just the reassurance. Yeah. I mean, wh- what I've found since um, since being on this programme yeah. and writing about it, I've, I've actually written a book on astral mm. projections since the show that we did last yeah. time. So Access, n- Access Paranormal... Has encouraged you to write a book on Yes, very much oh so. Yeah. All about <laughs> all about astral projection. Yeah. It goes into the history of astral projection. Also, it goes into psi spies, which I think I talked about. You know, yeah. instead yeah. of having like a James Bond spy, you have like these psi spies, which are in the major governments of the world and the superpowers. It's mainly America who've mm. done a lot of research in this, and Russia who've done a lot of research in this, and believe it or not, Germany. Is where a lot of it stemmed from as well. Right. Yeah. And astral projection, has that been there since the beginning of time? Well, yeah, everyone's been... Uh, they were yeah. doing astral projection in, in ancient Egypt. They, what mm. they did was their soul or astral body was called car ka Right. And it took the form of a bird, <laughs> believe yeah. it or not. Um, and it, it, was quite, it was quite strange. And I've had quite a number of experiences where, where I've seen these kind of like a, uh, like a blue bed pull the human head, mm. which was quite um, quite strange. But that's mm. the way they thought about it, yeah. the car, the, the, the soul body, the astral body. And um, what I've actually thought about doing since I did this show was um, maybe even starting to teach people astral yeah. projection, you know, getting some kind of group going or... Right. something online or something like that just to show people it can be done and i believe i do believe it's a, it is the next step in evolution yeah oh do, do, um so you, do you think everybody will be able to do it in 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 time yeah everybody needs to kind of transcend and find the the meaning to being here yeah because i think that's gone out the window a lot as well well, I, I think life itself gets in the way. Was was we've got so much going on in our, our lives now that yeah. we, we don't have time to sit back and and and, and take in what we can actually do as as a human being. You know, you've got the fear die, you've got yeah, everything else. Land. Life is like I just said. Life itself gets in the way. Mm. And if you think about it, astral projection has been there since the beginning of time, and so has everything else. We just don't have that time. But would you like yeah. to? That's the thing. Well, we, I'd love to, yeah. Well, then, instead yeah, of, I mean, to, I'm yeah. not being funny, but instead of people watching soap operas mm. and, you know, rubbish TV, yeah. you know, try a bit of meditation, get into the dubious hours. Yeah. Well, it's like me- with the meditation, you've got yoga as well. Yeah, you've got mo- you've yoga, got you've, yeah. you've got your Tai Chi, which, yeah, you know, yeah. gets all your meridians ready and what have you. So there's a lot of ways you can just, like, get into this isn't it oh there? yeah there's tons of tons of so do yeah. you th- do you think w- when um if we if we were doing a, an, an investigation yeah and someone could go into the um the the actual astral projection mm. they could actually see the spirits who were there with us if they came off the body yeah definitely yeah. and they could actually make them not make them that's the wrong way word for it is, is encourage them to, t- to talk to us and, and they could do but the thing is they might not always want to i mean mm, if you yeah. think about it you know the astral planes exist here now in mm-hmm. this place yeah right there are souls and bodies walking around here now you just can't see them and yeah. i can't see them at the moment either because yeah. I'm, you know, I'm in the physical body uh, so, so you know you're talking about these planes and there's one here now there's tons here yeah. now. So they can just walk around us and yeah. wouldn't even know but where we're they exist. So it's like level. Uh, um, we're not tuned yeah. in 
that yeah. vibration at the moment. So it's like another world. It is another it, world. It is another yeah. world, yeah. And how many planes are there? there Lots. Millions? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. If you collected them all together, yeah. Yeah. Because it goes far into the reaches of space as well. And you, you can go as far as oh, yeah. you know, your, your mind can take you. Yeah. Because there's one thing you can't think, and, and I've always thought this, is your mind can't comprehend where the end of where the end well, of there the, is no the universe end. is yeah there is yeah. no end that's yeah. the thing so you're when you ask project you can go as far infinity infinity yeah. yeah yeah and how far have you been or <laughs> and that's a, it's a silly question no, to it's no, not no, why no, is no it a silly question, question. it's not a silly question at yeah. all so and it's understandable you know. to ask that yeah. i've been to the far reaches of space really yeah uh, have you seen things that you know, I mean, obviously, what I'm going to go to ask now is UFOs, yeah, aliens, yeah, they're out there. Oh yeah, they're definitely. Out Have there. you seen them? Yes. And they all. I, I, I mean, how? Well, the old little grey man. No, I mean, <laughs> I mean, sometimes you know you see pictures of. There of aliens are and, yeah. many types of alien out there in different forms. Yeah, yeah. They, they even down to insectoids and things like that. Really? Yeah. 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 And they're quite scary to see when you see a full size. Insectoid. Not as scary as me in a mirror, John. <laughs> 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 but, I mean, have you ever driven, you know, you've been out in your car mm. and you're driving along and sometimes you don't realise that, you know, you're driving your car, you get to that place and think, I don't remember getting, yeah. I don't remember that. It's just automatic, isn't it? Is that where you, you do you think that's a, like that's an out-of-body like experience or just It's almost a like a hypnotic state. Well, there's been plenty of stories where people have actually been driving down the road and then you've seen themselves because they've been up above looking down at the car yeah. and I'm thinking, I've, I've got to get back in my body mm. because... <laughs> it's like, is that like an out-of-body out out experience? experience yeah. 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 It's all the same thing. What, so out-of-body experience is the same as, as astral, projection, astral projection? Astral travel, yeah, it's all the same. Right, I'm starting to get my head around them because it's, it's just, like I said, it, life gets in the way and you don't have time to yeah. think about this, but talking to you, um, it's starting to sink in a little bit, you know. Um, and I mean, how long have you been doing since you were 14? Since I was 14, so, so about it's a 70 long time. years. Well, <laughs> how many? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Jamie. Yeah, that's me not speaking to you, isn't it? <laughs> mm, about 40 years, wow, about a bit more than uh, 40 years, actually. Yeah, and do you get? I mean, I know that you were suggesting about you know getting a group together where you can learn to astral project mm. and everything else. Have you had many people want to do that? Or oh, many yeah. yeah. Or, or, or many people coming to you and saying, look, I'm, I'm, this is happening to me. It, but yeah, I, mm. it, but it's, yeah, I'm not going to do, do it on a one-to-one -one basis because mm. it costs a hell of a lot. Yeah. Just like, yeah. A, it's like, like a consultant. I would rather have 20 people in a room Yeah. and do it like that. And um, I was going to say, you know, when, when, people, when people come to you, mm. Have you had it like has it all been adults or have you had children who I would who never experience teach an adult this? You would ask for project. A child. I would yeah, I'd never yeah. I'd never do that. But have you ever come across a child or someone who said, Look, this is what's happening to my child? Oh yeah, yeah. 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 So they can astral project, but yeah. obviously oh, lots of, the, lots they're too of young to project. To I, I would never teach one. Yeah. Because they're too young yeah. and they need to to enjoy yeah. life as I mean I would uh, wait until they're eighteen at least mm. before I'd teach one anyone yeah. to astral project. And I mean, have you got many friends who can astral project? I've got a few acquaintances who can astral project, yeah. Oh. And so, um, when was the last time you astral project? I've got to ask that before we go on to you. Um, probably last night. Really? Yeah. So, Jay, just before we finish, have you got a, a poem in your book of, of astral projection? Well, I'm not asking. I know well, you have. If you had have asked yeah. me a bit earlier, I could have got one ready for you. Yeah, well, you can get one ready while we're talking okay. to you. So, um, while I've got another ask, I'll ask another question as okay. well, is when you astral project, can you go into the future? Yes. And can you go into the past? Oh, yes. And how easy is it to do that? Is it just it's like uh, like you were saying before? It's very it's just easy thought. to go into the past. I've done that many times. Um. When you talk about going into the future, you go into mm. the future as a a future of probabilities and possibilities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, could you because explain that hasn't that? happened. Yeah. But it's so it's it's possibilities and probabilities. Right. So when you go there, it's a possible that that could happen. Yeah. It's not saying it will happen. It's not saying it will happen. Right. I've got it's you. like um, if you look at string theory, or you look at uh, the program sliders. You're right. You know, each yeah. slide is a possibility and a probability it's not saying concrete mm. so each time you kind of 
you know, s- with string theory, each time you travel to a different, you know, domain kind of thing, it's just another branch of the tree, yeah, which is part of your possible life. So, so when you go out there and you say, right, I'm going to go to the future, mm. it's a you, possible you ca- future, yeah, it's a probable say, future. You can't tell your future. Obviously, you, can, you know you you know your past. Yeah, but you can't tell your future. Yeah, that's it. Even when I you mean, go if I could do that, and I've been asked before, and I was to get the lotto numbers and predict winning horses mm. and stuff like that. Now, I've only ever done that once. Really? I d- I predicted um, a horse was going to win the Grand National back in about uh, when was it, about eight, 1980 something like that, and I predicted that West Tip mm. would win the National, and it did. And I think my dad put money on it, and it won. Um, a few years ago, I looked into the lottery numbers, and I thought, okay, well, let's try this. And I think it was the first time I'd ever done it. I, I won mm. about 150 quid. Mm. But I thought, well, it's I wouldn't something. Rumble at that. So mm. I wouldn't say I'm not gonna, but I'm not gonna do it again because it's yeah. astral travel, astral projection isn't for this. It's not for self gain. Yeah, it's more for knowledge than anything else. But, but and there's lots of people mm. on the astral planes where you can go for, you know, to visit great schools mm. and meet great teachers see great pieces of art which haven't even been painted yet to see great pieces of music that have been by great composers and stuff which are passed on but they're still composing so what you're saying to me there is is s- there's somebody out there hmm. uh, I, I mean i don't know what you call them but they can put into your head a painting Oh yeah, that you can now paint and, uh, and it can become like 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 Da Vinci, <coughs> not Da Vinci. Well, it's like um, through writing this book on astral projection, mm. I've actually mentioned certain people from the past who have had dreams or gone to places, and you know they've been pondering on the problem, and when they've come back, they've solved that problem because they've seen it mm. in a dream. You know the astral planes. Yeah, it's it's funny you say that because I've had I've had dreams where. I've had an idea, and I thought, and I'm, you know, when I've woken up, I've still got that idea. Yeah. And it, and you know, I'm I'm made up with, with with what I've done with it as well. Yeah. So, are, are you saying that somebody's put that into my head? It's or not possible? somebody that's put possible. it into your head. It's the actual plane of existence which has put it into your head because it's it's time for that idea to come through. Mm. Yeah. So it's encouraging me to. Yeah. I get what you mean. Some, there. you know, if ev- if we all went to sleep at night time and had a notepad by our bed. Or some kind of writing device, and the first thing we do when we get up, we you know, or think about a problem when we mm. go to bed, and we'll wake up and write that, write that synopsis down. You know, yeah. you'll you'll come up with the, the answer. Mm. I say lots of people have done it. Paul McCartney did it with I think it was uh, Let It Be. Really? Yeah, that, that song Let It Be. Yeah. When I found myself. Yeah. yeah. And he had had a dream about his mother saying, "Mother just Mary came to me." Yeah. Yeah, just let it be. Uh-huh. But there's been plenty of people who who've done this through time, and I've only noted about six of them, six or seven. But great inventions, mm. all kinds. So before we go on to your poem, yeah. Um, was was this poem inspired because you've astral projected, or yeah, yeah, yeah? It's uh, it's, it's a bit bit dark. It's a bit here, dark. So um, with the light switch behind you, if you wanna. I know, I know, I know we've got a little low lights on. I can't help you. But, you know. <laughs> it, w- it will help to kind of filter you. <laughs> as you're there, as I know. Well, I, I caught you on, on off guard there. Okay. So, you know, you ready for this? Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. It's called Journeys in the Astral. Journeys in the Astral, a gateway pink and blue. Alter your vibrations in order to get through. Into different realms I travel to glide through time and space. Enter via Karshik, see your real face. Journey ever onward, for there is so much more to see. Realms and dimensions infinite, we shall travel, you and me, to gaze into the multiverse, into a world beyond. If I guide and give instructions, how will you respond? To the reader, I give a message. For it is plain to see, for you are something more than you think. Your time will come, you'll see. 
Um, you can get the the book Tread the Dark Knight softly. Yeah. Um, obviously, I'm going to grab you again for your email address if you can. Okay. <laughs> I love catching you out, Joe. Don't you just? Yeah. Don't you just? Let me just. Uh, let me just find this again because I have most of it. Down. But you you can also contact me. Um, you know, through uh, we've actually got a Facebook page now, and that's called Ac- Access Paranormal Radio Dash Podcast. So, Jay, you've got the email address there. They can contact you directly, haven't you? Yes, it's magister, all lowercase. That's magister at email.com. That's magister at email.com. Do you want me to spell magister? Please. Okay, so it's M-A-G-I-S-T-E-R at email.com. And you can pre-order your book by contacting that one, or as I said, between well, me as well. You can't contact yeah. Because that's just my personal email address. But you can e- uh, you can order the book through Waterstones mm-hmm. or Amazon online. Fantastic. And Jay, thank you for coming in tonight my and pleasure. telling us all about the astral projection and also your book. Indeed. Which is fantastic. I'm, so sure, I'm sure we'll speak again. Oh, I'll be having you on this show <laughs> again, so don't you worry about it. But again, thank you so much for coming into the studios and talking to us tonight. Okay. We really appreciate it. Thank you. So that was Magister a little bit earlier on in the studio with me because obviously we've got to keep the social distancing. But we've just been joined by Jonathan Sullivan. Welcome to back to the show, Jonathan. Hello, Jamie. Hello, uh, Marie. Hiya, Jonathan. So I'm here as well. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say, Marie? I know you're here. I was talking to you earlier on, wasn't I? Uh, yeah. Picking on me. Don't start picking on me now. <laughs> so, have you been up to much, Jonathan? Not much, really. A little bit of YouTube. Oh, what have you been watching on YouTube, then? I've been watching some of Dark Territory. Oh, you've been watching them as well? Yeah, and some Mind Seed. Mind Seed, very good as well, yeah, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Which one did you watch? I've, been, I've, I've watched the, the one you told me to watch last week, Tanner's. Oh... Where he gets pulled. Yeah, where he gets pulled across that room. That yeah. is brilliant, that yeah. one. Doesn't, I mean, really we, we, when yeah. we watched it, we, we watched kept it. Re- uh, yeah, it and, yeah. yeah, and checking it and checking it for anything. Yeah. You know, trying to check, was it done deliberately or what? But I just can't imagine no. that. It, it's just, well, you, you, you've seen it as well. It's the way he was, he, I mean, one minute he was just sitting there, one the next minute, whilst the camera went up, he just went, he was gone, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, because, I, well, I had to rewind it as well. Yeah. Just, so I could see what exactly what has happened. Mm. Yeah. Well, the, the the strange thing is about it. I mean, we do paranormal investigations, the three of us, yeah. and um, you know, we could. I couldn't work that out. I couldn't work. You know, if that was done, if that was done deliberately, it was brilliantly done. Um, it, if it was, it would have to have been um, some sort of magic. Oh yeah, because the way they went up the stairs and yeah. they had the cameras there. No, it's brilliant. I mean, just talent. Couldn't. Tanner looked absolutely terrified, didn't he? He, 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 he didn't know what to do. He didn't, and he was outside, and he wouldn't come back in, and then yeah. he had to go back in. Well, he was under an arm, wasn't he, whether yeah. to, to, to ever do absolutely. another investigation. Yeah, he got yeah. that serious that he was worried about it. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, if you haven't seen it, get on to Mindseed TV and watch them on YouTube. They, they are brilliant, aren't they? Yeah, very, very good. And it, uh, there's one on there. It's I think it's about an hour and twenty minutes long. The the you know they've done like a uh, a documentary yeah. of of the things that have happened. If you've not seen that one, no, I've not seen that one. Jamie. That's a must as well. That is brilliant. I'll have to put it on um, my watch list. Well, we watched it, didn't we? We watched it with um, Lee and Leanne Arnold, and we and did, they yeah. really enjoyed it as they well. They did. They liked it. Yeah. And I said, I said, I said to Marie, what we'll do is when we can get the Ghost Quest group back together again. Is we'll put that on for them and show them it. Yeah, yeah, that'd yeah. be great. That Jamie. Well, it'd be good. I mean, I'd watch it again. We, we certainly oh, said we'd watch it again. It's well didn't worth we? watching. Yeah, yeah. Some of some of the parts you were on the edge of the seats. To be honest with you, how they stayed in the building in some of the buildings they were in, I do not know. Yeah, yeah. It must be frightening. It was frightening, frightening for me, and I was in the house. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd thoroughly, <laughs> thoroughly enjoy it, me. I'm, I'm, I'm. Well, we, me, Jonathan, <laughs> we know what Marie likes. She's got no fear at all, yeah, has she? She'd have been in there before they were walking round. I know, yeah. And, <laughs> and if she'd have been pulled like that fella at the top of the stairs, Tanner, 
If you'd have just had a word with him, Tom, <laughs> yeah. <get> off. <laughs> <laughs> Should have moved back to a space and said, what are you doing? I know, yeah. <laughs> Whatever it was, it'll disappear and said, oh, I'll give up. I can't <laughs> even fight in here. <laughs> it, but, you know, highly recommend them. Mind yeah. TV and, and Dark Territory as well. Yeah. Um, and there's another one. I think the co- I think it's Carl from Dark Territory has his own show. I think it's called Dark it does, yeah, Dark Arts. Dark Arts, yeah. yeah. That's another one well worth watching as I well. I don't think I've watched that one. Yeah, he, he's good. He's very very good. In mm. fact, I'll I'm, I'll be interviewing um, Sean. Sean. Not Sean Kennedy. Sean. Oh, the other yeah. Sean Owen. Owen. Right. Yeah. So yes. I'll be I'll be interviewing Sean Owen soon. Yeah, and I'll also be um, trying to get in touch with with Carl as well because I want to have a word with Carl as well, yeah, you know. Yes. And we we get three different views then from Dark Territory, and they've all agreed to to do the interview. It's That'll just be grabbing them because they're all in um they're all busy at the moment. So you know it's getting older. I mean, when I do, it's going to be a good show that one. I might I might dedicate like half the show to Sean, and half the show to Carl, and we've already had um, Sean Kenner on anyway. So. That'd be good fun, that one. Yes. And also, I've managed to get a really good interview soon with an Austra- with Australia. Brilliant. Yeah. That'll be great. Yeah. To say um, hello over yeah. to Australia. I don't want to say much too, too much about that one, but I'm also going on one over in Australia as well. I wish they'd fly me over there so I could do the interview, but, <laughs> you know, um, they, they, they said they'd listen to Access Paranormal. And he'd love me to go on their show and do an interview with them. So yeah. I'll be on the other side of the mic this time, which That'll will be, be good great. fun. Mm. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. But anybody who wants to listen to us or anything else, I- you know, send us any kinds of requests in. Well, not requests, but your stories and things like that. You can pick us up on accessnorthwest.org.uk um, if you want to listen in. And we air on a Sunday between 8 p.m. and 10 p.m. UK time. We also are repeated on Tuesday between 10 a.m. Uh, sorry, 2 a.m. and 4 a.m. Again, UK time. And again on the Friday between 10 p.m. and 12 a.m. Again, UK time. And that's on Access Northwest Radio. We're also then on L35. This is how lucky we are. <laughs> We're also yes. on L35. And you can catch us on there on a Mondays at 8 p.m. till 10 p.m. Again, UK time. And also it's repeated on Thursday at 2 a.m. till 4 a.m. UK time. And also again at 10 p.m. till 12 a.m. And guess what? UK, UK time. time. <laughs> yeah. So that's <laughs> Access Northwest Radio and L35 Radio, two brilliant local radio stations. And that's in the UK. And that's and in the UK, UK time. <laughs> yep, <laughs> but also we have got our Facebook up and running. We have, and we, you know, we've got to go and give it a mention, haven't we? we so have. you, all you have to do in Facebook is go to Access Paranormal Radio forward slash podcast, and you'll see us there. If you want to, you can leave your stories on there. You can send us messages, whatever you want. Send us some pictures so we can talk about them and discuss them on the radio. So that would be good as well, or. And the other last two are, we can email us at info.accessparanormal at gmail.com or you can join us on Twitter on hashtag accessparanorm1. Oh, and if you are on YouTube, uh, if you sorry, if you are on um, Facebook, you can only have to type in is at accessparanormal1 and you'll find us there as well. And soon we'll have a YouTube channel. So we're getting we're not doing too bad really, are we? No, that was that was a good couple of minutes there, Jamie. Giving know. all that information out. I know, but you know, I know you wouldn't have caught it all again, but just record this and play it back and play it again. <laughs> <laughs> or just go on the Facebook page which I told you and you can get pick out all the information from there as well. That wasn't bad, was it? No, there you go. And you know you what? Take a breath now. I never even made a mistake. <laughs> We'll listen, first, we'll listen back. We'll listen back. So, uh, J- Jonathan, I mean, a couple of weeks ago, or was it last week? I can't remember. Do you know what? So many things have happened in the last week or so. Yeah. I just got my head spinning. But me and you, we went and um, we went and done a, um, a little paranormal investigation on our own, didn't we? We did. I remember it well. And in a little bit, we'll be playing that. Um, so, but it was good. I mean, it you know. Was. We we got to the point, didn't we? It was um, it was getting a bit tense down there at times, and I was starting. 
after what happened to me a while, you know, a couple of weeks back. Yeah. Um, I wasn't sure whether I wanted to continue yeah, with the investigation, it. and it would be playing that soon anyway. Yeah. But that w- that was a good one. We went into the boiler room, didn't we? we? Well, we went into the middle floor, middle room first. Yeah. We went in the middle room, then we went into the hallway, then we went into the and boiler then room. The boiler room, yeah. Um. Yeah, so we yeah. So we, yeah, we did hear a few little. Yeah. Things in there, and then no, we finished. We finished off, to yeah. That, won't it? But then yeah, we finished yeah. off up in the, in the hallway, so we get a little bit echoey, right? But yeah. It was good. I yeah. quite enjoyed it. Was it. Good. Yeah, I think yeah. the listeners well, will enjoy it as well. Look forward yeah, to they it. Will yeah. do. They will do. Mm-hmm. And, and one thing I haven't mentioned is near the end of the show. Okay. I did a great interview with Chrissy Rock. Yes. And Lady C, they came into the studio. They were, they, they were actually here filming. And me being me, I just nabbed the two of them and asked them, could they come and do a quick interview? So that's what they did. They came into the in- um, into the studio and done an interview with me. So that was that was, was that good. before the investigation or? Oh, it was a, it was a few a few weeks back when we done it. You know, because they were they were oh, filming before the filming. I mean, yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, they were they, they they came into the the building, into Mill Street, um, because they were doing some filming for for something they were doing, and um. The, I mean, I actually ended up on it as well. Oh, you didn't again? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He said to me, "Do you want to join us?" So I ended up. <laughs> Whenever it's out or whatever the program is, I'm on that as well. Mm. And oh. there was me, yeah, Jane Basnett. Oh yes, Roy Basnett. Mm-hmm. Lady C. Yeah, I missed that night. Yeah, didn't I? Lady C. Yeah, Chrissy Rock, and obviously a couple of cameramen. Yeah, and it, yeah, I enjoyed that. Brilliant. You know, I, I mean, I didn't want to. I was only coming here. To, to get them to be interviewed and obviously to open up for them for the film and, and it, I ended up on it. There we go. Yeah, they, they said Watch they need. They, well, what they said is they, let they, us know they, when they it's on. Well, they said they needed that you know that um that, that kind of sexy kind of look on oh there. Oh right, yeah. is that it? Yeah. And because they couldn't find it, obviously they were getting desperate and asked me, did I want to <laughs> do it? <laughs> Blow that trumpet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said they were getting desperate, so they asked me. To <laughs> But it, yeah, it was it was good. It was a good experience. I don't want to say anything about what happened down in the cellar because um, obviously Chrissy and Lady C are going to come back on and and talk about it. Um, not they're not going to come into the studio again. They're, they're only they're only going to be on the phone. But it'll be interesting to hear what they said, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, I can't um, wait to hear that one, Jamie. Yeah, I'm, I'm because looking forward to interviewing him over that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So th- there's a lot to you know, there's a lot to look forward to in the show, and I've got, I've got more interviews. Um, booked in yeah yeah which are going to surprise people who have got on and I'm, yeah. I'm looking forward to them ones i can't wait to do them ones but yeah. i'll tell you what jonathan what we're going to do now is we're going to play part two of when we were down in the cellar um at mill street barracks and also in other parts of the building so should we have a listen we shall okay jonathan we're back on again um okay. You know the reason why I stopped it then is because I was feeling a bit on edge um, because of what happened to me last week and I felt a bit, mm, you know, should we be doing this so quickly? And, I, I, you know, I think what it is is we are paranormal investigators and yeah. I think what happened to me last week was a very, very rare thing that happens. Yeah. And um, obviously it's still a bit sensitive with me at the moment because I'm still trying to get my head around it all. Well... After a little bit of a chat with you just then, we've decided yeah, to carry we'll, on. We'll carry on. Yeah, we'll there is two of us. I mean, I'm thinking about it now. Last week I had Sean on the phone and there was just me in the building. This week there's me and you. Yeah. And we've yeah. done it loads of times. We've done been investigations loads of times and we've been in rooms like this on my own. But I think before, I think I was starting to get the atmosphere feeling a bit vulnerable again. And I, I think am, it but, was you know, though, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll carry on. Yeah, I had I had a good think about it. I was a bit nervous. I was a bit tense, and I was thinking, and I said to you, should we go back up into the studio and just do our chat up in the studio? But we've decided to carry on. Yeah, so yeah. it's it, I mean it's a natural feeling. Isn't yeah, it? of course it is. I mean, um, I, I think if anyone would have been in that situation, I think they'd all be a bit on edge for a little yeah, bit. Yeah. But do you know what? I've been doing it for 10, 12, 13, maybe fourteen years now. So. I should be used to it. I know. Should I'm be saying I should be used to it. Come on. Come on, should we? I don't even jump when I see myself in the mirror when I walk past it a few times, so, you know, I'm bound to be on edge. So, 
I think everyone jumps when they see you, Jamie. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when the light's on. <laughs> right, so what we'll do, where do you want to go? Do you want to go into the boiler room or do you want to go into the, we... the hall? The, the, not the hall, the, the centre yeah, of the... the centre. Yeah. Should we give five sure, minutes look, in the centre? We'll have a little go out there. And, and then, then we'll go into the, the boiler room. Was, I'll go, yeah, yeah. Boiler room, yeah. I mean, we might just pass the boiler room and run up the stairs if anything really big happens, but you yeah, know. Well, there you go. Well, I might. I might leave you yeah. down here. <laughs> yeah, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be that cruel. Yeah, I would. <laughs> right, so we've been here loads of times. We've done the cellar, this part. And watch your head as well Jonathan it does hurt I'll tell you that now so what we're going to do is we're going to stand here and in a second I'll turn the torch off and then we'll see what happens so there's the light off and let's just get our eyes adjusted for a second yeah. while we're getting adjusted I'll just give a call out again if there's anybody here with us now if you're around and you want to come forward, please come forward. If you can show us your shadow, like you've done many times in the recent weeks, we'd love to see it again. We'd love to talk to you. Can you come forward? Could you let us know you're here? What I'll do, Jonathan, I'll stand on the opposite side to you. Yeah, come on. Only because I can run faster and I can get past you quicker. <laughs> um, I'm small, I don't have to talk to get past them beings. Yeah, I can trip you over. <laughs> right, are you ready? Go on. I've actually got that, I feel like it's a spider's web on my head again. Again, yeah, already? Yeah. Really? I'm going to ask if there is anybody here. Could you show us that shadow? Could you come towards us? Let us see you here. We are here with respect. We don't mean you any harm. Could you walk towards us? Let us know you're around. To your footsteps. We don't mean you any harm. We'd love to know who you are. Do you want to say anything to us? If you can, please do so. Are you glad we're here? Your stomach. stomach. It's funny, isn't it, when you go on a paranormal mm -hmm. investigation, how dark it goes, and then all of a sudden everybody's bellies start rumbling. <laughs> I think it's part of the um, the history of ghost hunts, that, isn't it? It's people's stomachs rumbling. I think it is. Oh, especially with us, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Especially mine. <laughs> I'm renowned for it, aren't I? It, it seems very, very calm in this part of the, the cellar. Seem calm. Too calm. Yeah. Okay. I've just turned the lights on. Sorry, Jonathan. I should have warned That's you right. there. Okay. okay. So what we'll do, we'll go into the boiler room then, Jonathan. We'll do... Um, we've had a couple of minutes in there and nothing happened, so... Oh! Nearly bang my head. Oh. <laughs> I was about to run then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just do not run. <clears throat> me and James were here a while back. Mm. James, James Anthony. Yeah. And we were standing where we are now. And honest to God, the temperature dropped. There was like an electric. You know when you feel like the electrical. Uh, you can't. You yeah. get that door open, Jonathan. No. Oh, for God's sake. Do you want a hand with it? Yeah, go on. I'm talking to you, and all you're doing is yanking at the door. Yeah. You've done it. 
Oh wait, that looks too dark for my liking. Oh, jeez. What is oh, it? My God. Oh, the doll. <laughs> In the window. I put at the that back there. of the room. I put that there. It's, oh, did you just knock my arm? No. This one just had on my arm. No. I was like, it was I'm, pulling me. I'm standing right by the door, Jamie. No, I know that. I'm just double checking. No, I've got my hand on my chest because well, I can't had see. a heart attack because of that doll. Sorry about the dot. I put that there. I, oh. <clears throat> what, when, when was it I put that there? Oh, I, do you know, it was a couple of weeks ago when I put it in, when we'd done the, um, when we'd done the, um, I don't even remember what I'm doing. Halloween? Do you know what? I'm not on edge. You can't even remember what I'm talking about. Yeah, the Halloween night, I put that in there. Because of all me. Oh, dear me. Well, yeah, he's got a, it's a bit dusty in here. <coughs> yeah, I can feel it in my throat. Did you hear that noise? Yeah. My phone just vibrates and it's in my heart. I did it tight. No, did you not hear that? No. Okay. It was just... Did you hear a sound? Or... What? Like a dragon sound? That's the second time in here, something like that. Did you see... Did the... you not hear it? No. Can you do that again, please? Again, it's when you're talking. Yeah. Well, I mean, we've been in this boardroom many times, haven't we? Yeah. And we've had some really good stuff in here. And do you yeah. remember the time when we were in here and we were sitting around the table with the group? Um, I've got to advise her, is that my yeah. quest paranormal, you know, That's the one. Liverpool. <laughs> and we were in we were in the cellar here, and I think it was me, you, Jane, Liz, Bill, in fact, the whole, a whole lot of us, I, and for those ones I've, I've named, I'm sorry, just in case you want to throttle me. But when we were sitting down, it's the same table again. It's yeah, exactly it's, the same table. It's been here for a long time, hasn't it? Really. Um, we were sitting around this table, and do you remember it going... I remember that very well. Going like that, and we put the torch on. The K2 was on the table, and the K2 was rattling from side to side, and it was just going yeah. like that. After a few seconds of watching it, just stopped up completely, so didn't strange. it? Yeah. And the other one was when you were sitting there. Oh, Jane, let me remind me. Jane and Liz were sitting there. Yeah. And, and I was sitting there. Yeah. I, I was sitting with me back to the door. Yeah. Next to the big post, what's in yeah. here? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Uh, we were just sitting there with me, and what happened, Jonathan? Well, somewhere between Liz and Jane, a hand came through. Mm -hmm. An actual... An actual... It hand. Looked like a an actual real hand, like an apparition. Yeah. And then that went, and then we asked for it to do it again, and it was as if it had come down above yeah. the table. Yeah. And down like that. I always remember that. Never forget that. They were the two good ones. And then we were in here. I think James Anthony was in here with us. And we were in here and we were sitting around. We were calling out and you could hear. Mm. And we were sitting still as anything. And you could actually hear that, you know, in here. Yeah. That's what it's been. Yeah. It's not a room that we come in through that often. We haven't done it. Jesus. Well, I've just. Well, why have you do? Would you, you stop messing around with that with torch? That. Yeah. <laughs> it was that tall. <laughs> oh, man, I'm going to take that torch. That. I'm going to take that torch off you in a minute because, like, <laughs> my God. And, yeah, and do you remember the time? Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't mind. I put it there. Yeah, I know. But do you remember also the time when um, Liz was sitting there as well? Yeah. I was sitting here. Yeah. Um, I think it was Lindsay who was sitting there. It's funny how you remember where everyone was sitting. Yeah. Jane, Jane was sitting there next to Liz. Yeah. Bill was sitting here. But and I think it was uh, Michelle Cook who was sitting here. I'm not sure. And what we were doing is we were calling out and everything else. And I got that like somebody grabbed me on the hip. Yeah. And I thought it was Liz messing around. But when I looked where Liz was, there was no way she'd get around around round to do that. Yeah. And yeah. then, because I was leaning against this piece of wood here. Yeah, this, it's like this, the, well, it's, it's, it's like the two posts. Yeah, the, the post, yeah. The tables in between. And 
I looked where Lindsay was, and for Lindsay to try and to wind me up and do that, really. it, it, she couldn't have done it because it was on my left hand side. Yeah. So Liz would have had to have a five foot arm to do it. Yeah. And yeah. Lindsay would have had to twist her arm to a point that she'd have had to be made of rubber. Yeah. And um, that's when I knew then I had been, you know, something not from our world that, that, that actually yeah. made contact with me, which was good. Yeah, you know, right, yeah. um, and, and that was in here. So we've had some really good stuff in here. And then you got you got the, the fella called John, who you were calling well, out for before. Between me and Bill, wasn't it? Yeah. I, I think yeah. I got John and Bill said Harrison. That's right, the, the, the surname. Yeah, and it's and then, actually... Yeah, you looked it up, I, didn't I, you? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've looked it up. Yeah, he, was in, he was in the yeah. war, yeah. and he's actually on the Roll of Honour. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, died in action. Yeah, which is sad. It is very sad. But it was nice that he was around, yeah, you know. Yeah. But um, yeah, Jonathan, will you stop messing around with that torch? <laughs> all I can, st- I'm talking to you, and all I can see is this little baby child lit up in the dark. You know, oh, it's yeah. just the only thing what's lit up, and all I can see is you talking and moving the the the, um, the torch. So stop it. <laughs> I'd say I'd kick you out, but no, I wouldn't. <laughs> You'd be left on your own. I know. I'm on the get t- away with all yeah. kinds tonight, and you know I? what? That's another one, James Anthony done. I came in here one day. I was showing like people round and explaining the, the the paranormal stuff and everything else. Plus, in moving that paranormal and everything else. Paranormal. Paranormal. Looks on the table and what's James put on the table in wax? <laughs> Jamie. I scribble. I scrape the rest of it out while he put because you know. Not very nice. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. But he he will get paid back for that one. You know. Um, because he, he easily frightens, doesn't he? So, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I, will get me, I noticed we'll get that one a while back. back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, that was one of the classics, wasn't it? We, yeah. We'll have a laugh about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, um, yeah, should we, should we um, go back to our seriousness and yeah, do an okay, investigation? Yeah. Yeah. Well, should we both sit down? Yeah. Sorry, we get we go on on a tangent, but it calms us down a little bit as well. Yeah. So I'll put, that, energy's gone as well. I'll put the phone on the table. Right. So, why am I looking straight at the doll? Well, do us a favour, Jonathan. Turn that mm, 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 light out. Thank you. There you go. I'm going to take the torch off you. That's what I'll do. Oh, actually, I'm sure I had a torch with me. I what can't the? Not say. Stop it with that torch. <laughs> right, come on. Let's be serious. Are you ready? Go on. Again, Jamie. I can't even see. Well, it is pitch black. So, right, okay. I know this room's the one that nerves me a little bit at the moment. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you just put the, did you, did you just put the torch on? No. You didn't? No. Right, okay. Why, what did you get? I've just seen a light go, you know that window where the, the, the doll is? Yeah. And it's just gone right the way along, past me, as if it was going out the door, and it was a, a light. Do you know, that's a few lights. We've seen tonight. Yeah. Okay. Right. I'm going no. to call out. Okay. Go on. I've got. See, I've got me back to that window. Yeah. Well, I haven't. Which doesn't help the situation, does it? No. Yeah. Okay. Let's go for it. I have just. A... I haven't even called you. It's just like cobwebs on my head. Really. Yeah. Right, okay, go on. Okay, I'm going to ask if there's somebody here with us now. And that was you doing the light, or you touching John on the head. Are you able to make contact with us? Are you allowed to? Are you able to do anything? Can you make a sound? If you can see the doll, can you knock the doll off? Are you hearing that? I did hear one little noise. That was footsteps. That was a full along the corridor footsteps as if someone right. was. Whoa, what? Oh, on my head again. Okay, now I'm. Right. I'm getting a bit nervous. And it's not. That was I genuine. I said it was my coat, but it's not. Because 
my collar doesn't go that high because it's right on top of my head. Mm. That's twice. Oh, that, was my bone. that was my bone clicking then. So if that was you that was touching my head and made a light in the room, can you come and tap on the table? Or just make a noise and let us know where you are. We don't mean you any harm. Did you? Sorry, that was me what knocked the table in. Oh, God. But did you hear, did you hear walking again? Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell me you heard it? Yeah. That was like really good walking then. Right, okay. That's you, thank you. I did ask to let them know where they were. This is so much, I feel so much tension or ten, I feel tense. I feel a bit I'm unnerved, there. you know. Mm. How are you feeling, Jonathan? Same. Same on edge. It's, it's still there. Whatever's walking around is up there. Should we? Let's just listen. I can hear walking. That's in the main hall upstairs. Sure. Mm -hmm. That was a definite mm -hmm. tap. Yeah, there's, there's things. Yeah. I've never known this place to be so... I'm, I'm not just saying it, I've never known it to be so active as it has been for the last couple of weeks. No. Now there's something on next to my head. So you're getting that as well? Yeah, yeah. Are you here with us now? Are you able to talk to us? Stairs. That's clear walking, Jonathan. There's only us two in the building. I know. Do you know what? I think we need to go up there. I was, mm. just, I was just going to say, do you think we should go up? Yeah. And investigate? Yeah. Well, it's near us at the studio as well, so let, come on, let's yeah. go up, because that, that is a... Yeah, I'll let you go first, Jamie. Yeah, yeah, no, you can go, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'll go first, but give us the torch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is like... I just thought we'd have a calm, relaxed night tonight, Jonathan, but... Do you know if I come up with any great ideas again, Jonathan? Just, just, you know... Yeah, what do you mean? Yeah, great idea. That's what we do, isn't it? Just shine the torch there a minute. That's what we do. Oh, that is. Did you hear the walking up here? Yeah. I'm hoping we captured it, but. Hello? Well, I think we'll abandon the um, cellar for a bit now. Well, for tonight anyway. You know the idea I suggested about the blindfold on our heads? Yeah, maybe we'll try that tonight. Mm. Should we just sit down on one of these chairs for a little bit before yeah. we go back into the studio? Because see what's happening. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. 
Oh, let's see. Do you want to turn the lights off, Jonathan? Thank you. So I've never sat on this side before. Hold on a minute, can I just ask something a minute? Yeah. Why did you end up with the torch? <laughs> That's one of the creepiest laughs. <laughs> okay, I'm going to ask if there's anybody in this main hall with us, or the deck, or the dance floor. Are you able to come forward and talk to us? Can you walk across the floor? Are you able to let us know? Do you hear something over there? Then? It's no, I've just gone to see through, Jamie. Did you, did you see that light? I had a torch. I heard something go over the far side, but yeah, whether it's near the door, I don't know. By the doors, but not on the doors. But where the so the cupboard in the yeah. corner, you switch the light to where the light switch is at. Mm. I was going to say to you, would it be a car going past? But the car would basically light up the whole so room, the wouldn't car it? Has just gone past. Plus, it's one way. It would. It, it, I mean, we're looking. Yeah. There's no lights at the time. No. I'm going to ask again if there's somebody here with us in the main hall, or as you would call it, the deck. Or as some people knew it as, as the dance floor. Would you be able to come forward to us? Or walk across the floor? Or make a sound? And we have footsteps when we were down in the cellar. If that was you walking across the floor, can you walk on it now? Did I feel the floor? floor? Did I hear walking on the floor then and like the floor vibrates? Yeah. What is that noise? I don't know. It's, you're just waiting for something to happen now because cigarette smoke they would have been allowed to have smoked in this room in this building at one time wouldn't they yeah yeah mm -hmm. tell you what I'll do you sit this side light it alright I'll stay this side with you <laughs> Who said you said that light? I'll just change my mind. I was going. To, what I was going to say is, I'll go and sit over there. Yeah. Over that side of the building. You sit over here. Stay where you are. Yeah. Um. I'll have to take this with me, so I, yeah, I yeah, wouldn't yeah, be able yeah. to hear you that much. But. Yeah. Um. This is the kind of walking you could hear, John. Not as loud as that, mind you, but. Okay. What I'll do? First of all, I'll stand in the middle of the floor. If there's somebody here with us now, if you can see me or Jonathan, can you make yourself known, please? Can you come towards me? I'm in the middle of the floor. Or I'm going to walk to the bell. Can you make the bell ring? Jeez. This floor is so creaky, Jonathan. Okay. Now you've done this a few times. Are you able to do it again? Can you copy me and do this? Could you do that? Oh, I've got a coin here, I'll do it. You able to do this?
If you could hear that, could you walk towards me, please? Could you make a sound? I'm going to ask you to walk across the floor. Walk towards me. I'm going really warm and it's cold in this part. If you can, can you make that bell ring? Could you copy me? I'll do it once more if you're able to do it. Can you copy me? What I'll do is I'll ring it and then I'll move away from it. Are you able to, to do the same thing? Are you ready? I'll go and sit over this side, Jonathan. I'm going to ask you, if you can, to come forward to us, please. If you are able to ring the bell, please do so. We've heard it go before. Are you able to do it? Use your energies. Now, Jonathan's sitting on one side of the building, and I'm sitting on the other. Could you come to one of us? Let us know you're here. I hear the noise. You yeah, don't say that, I'm on that side. Come and talk to us. Can you show us you're around, please? Can you hear like a... Mm. What was what? I just don't know, but I did do a whistle. No. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Well, what we'll do now then? It was a, like it was like a clear whistle. Okay, let's try one whistle, and then we'll go back into the studio then. Can you copy me? We do it again. Can you copy me, please? Please, yeah, silence, please. Yeah. And on that note, should we go back up to the studio then? Well, Jonathan, that was our um, investigation down in the cellar at Mill Street and then also in the main hall. Yeah. And what was strange was is the, the first part actually was that the part where when we were actually going into the boiler room and you were in front of me trying to open the door, but I felt like a, a tug on my arm. Yeah, that's right, yeah. I, I couldn't understand it. I thought, I, I know logically I could see you trying to open the door with both your hands, Yeah. but you do ask, was that you, Jonathan, you know? And 
there was no one you were nowhere near me i wasn't i wasn't anywhere near you and if I, any for anyone that knows mill street and in the cellar itself yeah. you were near the the, uh, the bottom of the stairs towards the first beam yeah uh, and, and, and i was right yeah. at the the, the boiler room door. Yeah, it's, it's 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 like the as you're coming down the stairs and you go to the left. It was just in that little consec the con section, that that little section there, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, and um, it it was a bit creepy once I found out it wasn't you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but it was it was it was good. But you know, it, it was, was an experience. It was it was good, and, um, and, then and then especially when he actually opened the door. <laughs> and there was yeah. a doll <laughs> oh <laughs> don't go near me with that doll uh, do you know what I, I mean I, I mentioned it in, in, in the investigation and I put that doll there for yeah. a bit of a laugh to make other people jump and I jump more than anybody <laughs> and then me, then my phone decides to buzz yeah that's right yeah and it, that made me jump even more yeah. but the, f the funny thing is but I mean we've listened back to this we you have, know yeah. and there's been a few sounds on it and where where the phone did buzz there was a noise, wasn't there? There was like a hem. I don't know. I could describe it either, a, either a chair moving or something being dragged. That's yeah, what I, I think. thought it yeah. was. I thought it was something being sound like yeah. it was being dragged. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's been quite a few noises that we've picked up that you didn't hear previously. Well, no. Yeah. I mean, I mean, we were down there and we didn't hear it, Marie. Um, no. Where were you? Oh, you didn't come that I week, didn't did you? Come yeah. No. I was wondering why you weren't there then. <laughs> <laughs> but. No, I mean you. You've heard it as well because obviously I live with you, so you have to listen to everything I listen to, really, don't you? Yeah, but uh, you know. um, you d we didn't expect to pick some of the sounds up. What no. what you was experiencing, you didn't hear them on the nights, only since we've played them back. Well, that's right. Yeah. So if any of the listeners out there have heard anything, you can let us know on info dot access paranormal at gmail dot com or on the Twitter at hashtag access paranormal one. Or even on our Facebook page now, which is Access Paranormal Radio forward slash podcast. Or if you're actually on Facebook itself, at Access Paranormal 1. Well, um, we'd love to hear what you heard, because it would be interesting to see if you, you got the same sounds as us. And uh, as we were saying then, Jonathan, um, you know, even up in, you know, when we went into the main hall after that, yeah, we, we, we were getting th we were getting things there. I mean, I didn't hear them. It was only when we were playing these back you can hear things, but you can't explain them. That, that's right. That's right. And there was there was a sound that sounded like the floor. Mm. But there was only the two was in the whole building. That's right. Yeah. Um. So it wasn't any of us. And no, and and Marie, you heard something. What what me and Jonathan didn't hear. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and you we had we, we played it back a couple of times. Yeah, then. we kept we playing it back. Yeah. Well, um, it was like a, I don't know a, a growl. A, I don't know, it's a funny sound. Yeah, and it was just which part of it was it now? Was it near the bell? The bell. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah, just the so bell. yeah, just as I was about to ring the bell, ring wasn't the bell, it? and yeah. then we heard it just directly before, uh -huh. isn't it? Yeah. Uh -huh. Um, and that, I I'm well, I heard that, and I asked you to play it back. And that's when you heard it as well. So yeah. we kept playing it back, having a listen to it, wasn't, didn't we? Well, yeah. it went in between, just before I rang the, rang the bell, you'd hear it. Yeah. And it was only a split second, wasn't it? That's right. And, and I said to you, was it not when I went to ring the bell, I've dragged it against the sides, but the more you I listen to it, there's no way that, that bell would have done that, because no. the string... It's not string, it's a rope, it's isn't it? It's a rope, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's not a string, it's uh, a heavy... Yeah. Solid yeah. and tight so rope, and it's 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 away from the bell. So when you ring the bell, it's no way of hitting it unless you lift no. it high enough. And if you lift it high enough, you're not going to get that mm. the ring, are you? No, no. So I mean, that was an interesting one to get, but it was a bit of a weird night. There, shame you wasn't here, Marie. You know, I know, I yeah. miss yeah. out um, again. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it was a good night. The whole thing was a good night. I yeah, enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's different. Well, when there's two here, the the there's you know y your senses are up more you you know y your senses kick in more when there's a hat about a load of yours yeah y you can't concentrate like we were doing yeah that's and right. um, i mean what, what what did you feel about that night you know oh i'm just banging the head on the uh, mic <laughs> what did you feel about that night it was quite, it was quite tense um and uh, we did hear some noises on the night mm. 
Um, but we certainly never heard some of the noises that we've heard once we've played it back. No. Which makes me think... There was more there was going a, on. A lot there? more yeah. going on mm. than what we actually thought. Yeah. I, I mean, you weren't there, Marie, but, you know, you've heard from it on everything else. It, yes. And how did you feel? What You know, I mean, obviously you it weren't there. The atmosphere no, is a bit different, but... It was really good to listening because... Um, as I'm listening to the playbacks and I'm picking up things, because I think he was just listening to the voices, but I was mm. listening. Mm. I could hear the yeah. background, and I'm thinking, yeah. what the heck was that? So there's a few occasions downstairs and then up on the um, fl dance floor, as I call it. Um, so, yeah, it'd be good if the listeners can pick up on that. Let us know what you thought mm. of it as well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Put your views on um, Facebook. Yeah, mm. definitely. But... I mean, a couple of weeks back, well, Halloween night, I threw you in at the deep end and left you on your own. Um, yes, yes. And I'm thinking of doing that again for the show. Well, I think we should, and this time record me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you didn't get the big... <sighs> I know, but I had... I just had within <sighs> seconds of me putting <laughs> the headset on, the blindfold, everything, I didn't know you were still recording upstairs. And, and yeah, I was still interviewing Debbie and Chris, wasn't I? And... Um, when we dipped into you, we, we, you know, we went across to you. Yeah, you only got the last part yeah, of it. You didn't even yeah. hear the noise that I heard. The la and the microphone would have picked both noises yeah. up. Well, are you both up for it one night? Um, I put one of you at one end of the, um, the, the main hall mm -hmm. and another one at the other end of the main hall. Mm -hmm. yep. Put blindfolds on you. Yeah, I'm definitely We put the microphones that. down there. I'll sit up here. Which is safe oh for yeah, me, you know? yeah, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, mm. and I'll sit up here, and what I'll do is I'll put both microphones on. Yeah. Um, and I'll listen into it as well, and I'll probably—I mean, I'll be talking to the listeners, but I will be, you know, listening into you as Can well. Can you hear us both at the yeah. same time, or do you have to go in into one um, mic and out of it? No, I, c I can put both of you on at the right, same time. Okay. So, w I mean, it might okay. be worth doing it, whereas, but he's both in at the same time and get used to call out. Mm -hmm. Go yeah. go quiet for a, you know a few seconds yeah. and then call out again. And I mean, obviously, I'm up here, so I'll have the headphones on, and um, I'll see what I can hear from up here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In, in, in the safe, yeah, that'll be good in to the try. So have yeah, you noticed the way I'll leave? You're saying you safe zone, but look what happened to you the other night. Oh, well, a few yeah. weeks ago, being in here yeah. on your own. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah, they might leave us alone down there and just come up to you. Yeah, they might just yeah. you know keep you company instead, Jamie. Yeah, you know. Yeah. yeah. Are you two picking on me? <laughs> 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 Trying to scare you. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks for that. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you took you, the words out of my mouth there, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> you're both cruel. Honestly, God. This, this, is, this is like a kind of, of picking on one person here. It's, it's not it's fair. It's not picking. We're picking up yeah. on your, how scared you was when you was in this room on yeah. your own. It's That's what we're doing. Just because <laughs> I've come up with the idea of you two going down there on your own, you're trying to make me scared of being in this room, aren't you? There's <laughs> 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 something called chicken there. Is <laughs> going on? Um, no. <laughs> I'd, I'd, do you know what? I'd do it. I'd quite happily do it if there was nine or ten of us. No, I'm up for that definitely. Yeah, yeah I'd, I'd like too. to try it. I'd like to try it, but um, in the warmer weather. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. In, the, in the light nights. Yeah. <laughs> me, me worry is with you two though is I'd put the headphones on, I'd put the blindfolds on, and you two come down and scare the living daylights out of me. <laughs> where, whereas I wouldn't do that. I, I'd, I'd take you it serious. You wouldn't do that. Yeah. Yeah. I've told you we were on about doing a sleepover here, weren't we? And what did I say? If we're doing a sleepover, I'm going to make sure that each and every one of us has got a little bit of string tied to tied to us. So if one moves, we all move. <laughs> <laughs> because I know that you two would leave me in the cellar on my own. <laughs> I'd never do that, Jamie. And um, yeah, and John Dagger, who uh, is, is uh, actually, I, I forgot to tell you, didn't I? John Dagger will be joining us in the studio next week, all which right, will be yeah, great right. to cool, do, good. yeah. And he's another person who would um, scare the living daylight out of me if he got the chance. He's like a sniper in when once he gets going. He's, he's, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's stealth, isn't he? He's got he that. Is. You don't know where he is. Because yeah. he's, he's been in the Marines. Yeah. He's good. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. one minute he's sitting next to you and the next thing he's right yeah. behind you. Yeah. <laughs> you don't I even know. see him moving, that's what the lights <laughs> on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry John, we're just giving out your secrets here. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, let's move on. And um, as I said to you um, earlier on in the show, we did have Chrissy Rock and Lady C come to visit me. Well, they were coming to visit the pill and I just kidnapped them for the for an interview. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play that interview. So I hope you all enjoy Chrissy and Lady C. Hiya, this is Chrissy Rock and you're listening to Jamie Williams on Access Paranormal. Ooh, stay tuned. So in the studio now we've got, well, Cagney and Lacey of the Paranormal World, also known as Chrissy Rock and Lady C. Welcome to the studio. Oh, thanks for having us. I'm oh. dead excited to you. Oh, I'm very excited. It's lovely to be here. Thank you. Have you not been on a ghost hunt before? No, but I have got a lot of para- paranormal feelings towards mm-hmm. ghosts and the paranormal. You know, I have been studying it for quite a long time now. Right. And I know, Chrissy, you've been on quite a few paranormal investigations, or was it just the one? Well, it was just the one really it was just the one really and um we got locked in overnight which was fun like yeah. but the women who took us were screaming more than we were because <laughs> to me i'm not wanting to be afraid mm-hmm. because you can frighten yourself and it's not something i want to be i want right. to sit and that's why i said you know to call it you know the cagney and lacy because they were detectives and yeah. we wanted to investigate that's why I thought yeah. it'd be a fun way to, you know, have a nice night and not be disrespectful to the spirits, yeah. but, you know, to to have fun and entertain. That's what yeah. I wanted to do. And now tonight you're at Mill Street Palace. You've never been here before, nor have you, Lady C. What are you expecting from tonight, Lady C? What are you expecting first? Well, first of all, I'd like to feel the energies of, like, the spirits themselves letting them know that we're here and we're not here to make a fuss over them or to to take fun out of them it's for them to let us know that we're friends of theirs and i feel that a lot of spirits are afraid of human beings because we're forever hating one another yeah. and the spirits won't hate us they're here to guide us and it's it's about getting in touch with the right way with the spirits so they feel that they can communicate through us nope. and come to us with little signs. When you walked in the room, because you're a medium, or oh, you're a sensitive, a sensitive medium. Yeah, sort of. I mean, I've never said I'm clairvoyant and stuff, but I do yeah. study the tarot. I, I, I swear by the tarot cards to keep yeah. me safe and all the rest of it. And I do believe in my guides. And like, I have plenty of ghosts that come and visit me often. I really do. Right. So when you walked into the barracks, did, well, you, I, did you feel anything as you were walking into the barracks well, themselves? I did, actually. I felt a lot of testosterone I really did I could feel that and then as soon as I came up the stairs the energies changed it yeah. was a different kind of smell yeah. more like authority so I think this is where you know the sergeant majors mm. must have been or the higher up in the right. in the um, in the regiment whatever it is but mm. I can feel a lot of still still feel the testosterone and I actually can sense that there's been you know a lot of hard work that's happened here especially mm-hmm. with young men as well yeah yeah I can sense right. that and a, and a lot of actions happened here as well you know really has to train very very hard I can get that yeah. and I think there's been there's, there's, it's left a lot of happy souls because there's also very happy memories here from a lot of the mm-hmm. spirits that I can feel yeah, and when I come up the stairs before I could sense the the invisible spores now I, I see the invisible spores as like an orgasm, well, like an orgasm, whatever you call them, like a bacteria. No, no that'll, that'll do. Like a, <laughs> like a bacteria that's passed. Yeah. And they become like the invisible spores, which like live in corners of like mm. damp places and stuff like that. Mm. And they can bring out like a nasty sort of ghost, if you like, because they're not happy. Yeah. They, haven't, you know, they haven't sorted themselves out yet. And that's why people feel sad and miserable in some mm. cases when they're in buildings that are damp and all the rest of it and if you've got a low immunity system that that's can sort of ghost you in a, in a negative way mm-hmm. whereas if we're, we've come here today to meet happy souls and happy spirits that have gone across because i believe they're more scared of us than we are yeah them. and you don't know nothing about this building at all do you nothing, nothing. at all whatsoever yeah. whatsoever no, but I, I, I do it. feel yeah. there's a lot of masculine energy that's yeah. happened here mm-hmm. and a lot of um connected with ships and the sea and stuff like that mm-hmm. 
um, and the army and the, the military and stuff. Mm-hmm. Which I, I, and, and before that, I mean, I found out that there was a morgue here at one time as well. Laid to rest. It was. It was. You know, and it's like if they were in the war and stuff, maybe you know they're at peace with themselves now because I don't mm-hmm. feel any strange mad energies or heavy energies at the moment i think they're like sort of grilling us because yeah. it feels quite nice like checking you out checking us out if mm. you like i mean i usually go very very cold or when shadows start changing it's like that's when different entities come about and then you feel them they let themselves be known mm-hmm. so chrissy you've also never been here before and you've traveled all the way quite a distance to get here tonight yeah i've traveled up from norfolk but i'm really interested because I used to live in St. Helens and I never knew this place existed. So um, to be so close to where I lived in mm-hmm. St. Helens to, to this place and I've never heard of it. But I am, just like Lady C, interested in the paranormal. Mm-hmm. And I also think, um, you know, why do some spirits stay and some go? And, y- you know, we're all born and we all know we're going to die one day. Yeah. And when you die... In our terms, we're laid to rest. But if we're laid to rest, why do some spirits can't rest and stay where they and haunt places? Yeah, yeah. And that fascinates me because I think to myself, oh, when I die, I want to be laid to rest. I don't want to mm. be like Marley's ghost dragging chains around for the rest <laughs> of eternity. Well, I mean, I've got a connection to the building anyway. I don't know whether you know or whether we're still just. No. My dad was based here, and. Um, but one time we were, we had like a history day here and there was photographs all up on the walls and I looked at these photographs and I went there's me dad yeah now when I looked at it I, I mean I couldn't believe it because I'd never seen me dad in an army on the outfit or nothing like that so they gave me a copy of it and I took it to my mum and my mum went that's your dad and then all the stories started coming up my mum used to sneak in here and meet me dad Aww. so I think my brother was conceived here to be honest oh. with you so you know <laughs> but um <laughs> When I first come here, I was, I was, I mean, I don't know whether yourself, you're like, um, you're, you're attracted to a building and I was attracted to this building and, and now I can't get enough of it. Now, I've, I've got to ask you, because obviously you've been to a lot of places with, with the TV and yeah. with, with theatres and that. Have you ever had any experiences in, in any of the, the, the theatres you've been to at all? Not really. Um, I've been in the dressing room that, um, uh, Mo- what's his name, Mohammed Wise. Yeah. Um, he was in before he went on the stage and collapsed and he died. Right. Um, so that it's it got a plaque in there. So I never mm. felt anything there. But apparently in Sunderland, um, there's a really bad dressing room that Sid James died on the stage. And mm. years later, Les Dawson <laughs> went into the dressing room. He was in that dressing room. And he came out white as a sheet and he said, I will never go in there again. So whatever he mm-hmm. saw in there, as connected with Sid James, so right, I don't know. Th- there's also the theatre I went to watch you on was the when you'd done Last Train to Old Switch oh, yeah. over in um, Epstein. The Epstein, yeah. And they said there's a lot of spirits in there. I know you were based in there because you yeah. were in there for a few days. Did you did you any experience anything in there, or was it well, just because you were concentrating on the show? You didn't well, get I chance never, to. I never yeah. felt scared. Hmm. You know, there was times when you think, yeah, you feel something, something or yeah. something just passed, or but you don't, you don't connect it to anything yeah. paranormal yeah. well I didn't anyway but I am I'm really really looking forward to this because one I don't want to go in afraid yeah because you can frighten yourself mm-hmm. and also I wanted to know that if there's anyone there can they communicate with us yeah well I mean you know me and Jane uh, yeah. we've been we've been coming here for years now and uh, we've never been really We've never really expect, um, experienced anything so negative that we wanted to get out of the building. We felt sometimes when we've come into the building, sorry, we um, that um, we shouldn't be here tonight. We're not welcome tonight. Yeah. But we've moved, we've carried on and then thought to ourselves, let's go. Now, you're going to experience that as you walk around the building, mm. both of you. I mean, it'd be interesting to see what, what happens with you, Lady C, when you're walking around and what you pick up. Well, again, I've you know. just picked up a cough. All of a sudden, a yeah. cough's just come at, come at me. Yeah. And looking at you, you've got this amazing silver order around you right now. For oh, a thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think yeah. that was coming to mm. you. Something's come around you. You say, maybe it's your dad. I don't know. Yeah. But I felt a cough. <clears throat> Mm. As it's gone now but it, it was like an entity was yeah. just here then as you were both mm. speaking mm. I actually it made me cough I felt yeah. it and I seen like like little silver auras well, around you it was strange when I go strange. down the cellar with you um, 
I'm, I'm, I'll be interested to see what you pick up there because there's a connection with me down there. Not a family connection or anything like that. It's something what's here. And anybody who comes up, you know, we, we sometimes we can get her to do something. I'm not going to say a name or not like that because mm-hmm. I want to see if you can pick it up. Yeah. And um, she always quite often comes around when I'm there. And I, I think that's happened, you know, for a long time now. If you've got a torch, we usually say, leave your torch on. We'll get her to try and switch it on and off. Mm-hmm. So it'll be interesting down there. It'll be interesting to see what you get over the far yeah. side of the building and the other classrooms yeah. around yeah. there. And the same, do you, do you pick anything up, Chrissy, at all? Do you, do you sense I, anything? You know, you, I, can, like, I, can, yeah. I can sense things when yeah. they're around me. Um, and if if they feel unnegative, I'll let them be around me. But if yeah. it feels negative, I'll ask them to go and leave yeah. me alone. Yeah. And I'm not interested. Mm. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not afraid of them. Yeah. You know, because I, as I said, I think you should be more fearful of the living and not the yeah dead. we try and be respectful because yeah. i always say we're we're guests in their house you yeah. know in their home or in their workplace and you know, we should should respect that really and yeah. you know yeah. um but i mean it's going to be fun have you both worked together before on this kind of thing or is this your very We've worked first together time once, yeah. yeah but when i was asked to do this and they said do you know anybody that you'd be interested in bringing along and there mm. was no one more than lady c, lady c, I c was, yeah. Yeah, yeah i couldn't i couldn't have you know it's just brilliant it's the, just brilliant this, like, the connection and since like yeah. Chrissy's brought mm. this to me uh, I've become into the, the mind state of it all if you know what I mean mm. like as uh, Chrissy was saying then about like the ep sign up when I've done pantomime stuff there right, and stuff, yeah. there is an eerie feeling about that place yeah. there's also an eerie feeling in um, the switch theatre in um, Wrexham I had a strange oh, the the is it the Because if you turn the name round on that yeah, it's twit isn't it's it twit or yeah, whatever you call yeah. it but it, yeah. th- th- there was a strange eerie thing about that place as mm. well and one night as well the the, the, um, the female dressing rooms were on the ground floor and mm-hmm. um, the toilets had um, overflowed for some right. bizarre reason which was so strange because mm. why should that have happened you know yeah. certain things that were going wrong and um, sometimes the the, um, the production side of things wasn't working it was mm. just strange the way there was this airy feeling oh. and the mm. worst one for me was in the Epstein once when um, I was doing uh, a play and I was about to go on it was a couple of minutes beforehand and I felt like someone had literally pushed me over I was sitting down I thought so I'm having a wobbler here there's no way I can have a wobbler I was like I've got to have this strength please because i just felt like i drained the energy out of me something like took the energy away from me mm-hmm. in the epstein and i was like oh please not now please i've got to have this energy to go and do my lines and get out there on mm-hmm. that stage and i'll never forget it as long as i live because it was like it was like someone had, had a hold of me and stopping me from going out like stopping right. me i was like you can't let me go let me go and i had a bit of a, a shake and a wobble mm-hmm. and then i got sense and strength to go and do what i was doing but yeah. i do believe there's a lot of spiritual entities especially in theatres hotels hospitals yeah, yeah. places like this you Wait, know there's a lot of people and going churches in and out of, yeah. as well he was um, yeah. a, a lady and uh, my friend let me stay in her house once and i'm not a very good sleeper and i went in the, the spare bedroom and the minute i walked in there i've never felt so much peace calm everything and i slept like a baby and then I said, I'll have to start staying here. I've never slept so much. <laughs> and she said, what happened was the lady who owned the house before, that was her bedroom. And her son was a priest. Wow. And he used to come in and give a mass. Wow. So it was and like a protection. The, 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 the thing was, it was just a wonderful mm-hmm. feeling. Um, yeah. You were yeah. just saying, Lady say about the Stuart in, in Wrexham. Mm-hmm. We actually done a paranormal investigation there quite oh. a few years ago. Cause when you said it, then I thought, I remember that. Yeah. And Jane was with us at the time. And I remember walking down the corridor with Jane, and I got this growl on my ear. If you ask Jane, it's the first time I've ever swore in front of anyone because I, I never swear. If I, if I don't need to swear, mm. I don't need to swear. And it's the first time she said to me, James, it's the first time I've ever heard you swear. But he actually heard it in my ear. And it didn't half make me jump. So, yeah. like, like you both were saying, I mean, theatres are full of people, full of the audience, full of the actors. Mm. So there must be some kind of um, presence there all the time in them, because yeah. yeah. obviously you've yeah. got the atmosphere, you've got the um, the, yeah. the sense of people it's being in the there. Walls. It's in yeah. the walls. Oh, oh things, yeah. It's yeah. It really, really is. Because yeah. when I ever perform anywhere and it's a new place I've ever gone into, the first thing I do is is touch the walls and let them know I'm here. Right. I have, I've always done that, and every even the unity before we go on, there's like a brick 
um, little corridor before you'd actually go in on stage. In Liverpool, yeah. In yeah, the yeah, Unity, yeah. And I would feel them bricks and go, oh, yeah, it's me, I'm back. Do you know what? Yeah. That is fantastic. I'm going to do yeah. that. No, I've you, never and you will feel that, yeah. something you really, really yeah. will. If you've had a lovely time in that building, that yeah. building will remember your essence that you got applauded for as well. So they remember, right. it remembers you. And I love the Unity Theatre. I really, yeah, really do. Just, and I, yeah. I feel us all in the bricks yeah. and everyone who's performed. I'm all excited to be yeah. drawn into this now. So yeah. yeah. Go oh. downstairs and have a look. Do you know what though, Chrissy? It, it becomes an addict. You become an addict of the paranormal. Because, yeah. I mean, we're all looking for that real stuff. We're looking for, we're looking for the actual apparition. Would we stay there if we saw the apparition or would we run? Who knows? But even if you saw something, it draws you back again and again but and again. How can you see something if it's dark? <laughs> it's like it's dark, doesn't it? Well, you'll find out when you go down in the cellar because there's also a thing, I, I mean, you've never been here before. And we always say, I don't know whether you've done it yourselves, when you go into a room and it's pitch black and it will be pitch black down your there. Your eyes adjust. Your eyes adjust, but then you'll know there's something there because the room goes darker and darker. I know it sounds silly to say if you put your hand in front of your face, it's pitch black. But as it long as no one runs out and leaves me down no, there, I'll be able no. But you know what, Jamie Rice? <coughs> Out of darkness is nothing. And no. you'll feel, you don't mm. see, you feel that the there. Mm. You feel it in the darkness. Well, let's go and have a look yeah. now then. Well, one more second. I remember well, you, the other day you rang me up and you were asking about yeah. it. And you, you, you actually asked me, why do we do ghost hunts in the dark? Yeah. And I was saying to you, wasn't I? The reason is, is because with the daylight on now, you, you see things, you, you know, you're looking at the doll, you're looking at the, the dragon thing over yeah. there next to your lady. And you, you do, you tend to think, you, you know, your concentration's on everything else instead of that. Now, when you go in the pitch black, your mind, it's it, the only thing, and it's no disrespect, but if you think of a blind person, yeah. your senses kick in. Oh, yeah. Your sense of smell, your sense of hearing, and you're feeling things. That's my phone, I should have turned it off, sorry. Well, so, sorry, um... I forgot what I was going to say now. Oh. <laughs> um, so the, the thing is, you say, like, if you're blind, your senses kick in. Mm. How do you know that it's not your imagination kicking in? Well, it could be. I mean, there's a thing, isn't there, where if I told you what was mm. going on down in the cell, as soon as you go down yeah. there, as soon as you turn the lights off, it's like anything, isn't it? Yeah. Your mind your, your mind starts over-exaggerating and you be start because picking we're, things we're, up. Because we've been told that, one, it's haunted, mm -hmm. two, it's going to be pitch black, yeah. three, you th your brain is going to start going, oh, this haunted, oh, I'm yeah. getting scared, oh, this is yeah. So is it really the paranormal or is it just us overreacting well, to being fearful in the dark? It, it depends, really, because, I mean, if you think about it, if I said, if, if you said to me, Jamie, I've just seen something in the corner, yeah. I can only take your word for yeah. it. And if I said to you, yeah, I've seen it, you can only take my word for yeah. it. The paranormal is really difficult to prove, and we, we've talked yeah. about this before. And But, I mean, you've got me, Jane, and Roy, who've been here loads of times. I mean, me and Jay virtually, Jane virtually live here. Yeah. So if you say, I'm picking up this name, or this is happening, this is happening, we will confirm it. Yeah. If it if it's not right, we'll say to you, no, we've never heard of that before. And um, we'll do the same with you, ladies. See, we'll, you know, we won't feed you the wrong information. We will say no. And I mean, we we look at, when we do ghost hunts, we always do debunking. Yeah. You know, we'll think no, it wasn't. And we know this building. We know the no noises. It, you know, if we hear walking in the hallway, we'll tell you that's walking in the hallway. Yeah. If it's walking past us, I'll say no, that's on the street. You know, we'll we'll tell you. We'll be truthful with yeah. you. Um. So you'll enjoy it. Oh, so, <laughs> right, I know that he's are itching to get down there. So yeah. what I'll do is, I'll, one, one last question is, Go on. what are you looking forward to mostly tonight? This is to both both of you. Um, for me, um, like um, a proper connection of somehow, because hmm. I do believe in it anyway, and I, I hmm. believe in visitations and hmm. stuff like that. And it's the feeling of like, I'm on my own journey here, looking for my own signs to lead me. Hmm in the right way for my own life and what I do. And I believe my ancestral realm will guide me at that. And I think the more perceptive I am open to it, mm. the, the more I'll get, like say, rewarded from it. Mm. So that's what I'm looking for, that achievement of, yeah, I, I really believe, and this is gonna be like the icing on the cake for it with me. Right, and, and Chrissy? Well, more or less the same, you know, To I'd like to get from this a message, mm -hmm. um, you know, and something positive and, you know, I, I've seen a lot of um, paranormal things and sometimes you think, have they thrown that stone there? Mm. Or why are they screaming and running out? And 
they frighten themselves. But if you don't, if you try and stay in control of your fear, yeah, because we're all afraid of the unknown. Of course, yeah. I mean, so that's that's we, what. We've been doing ghost hunts. I mean, our group's been mm. going for 10 years now and we still get scared on things, so yeah. it's understandable. My so hand's getting really hot. Your hand's getting hot? I feel wow. that. Oh, I'm standing wow. next to you tonight. I'm cold. No, honestly, yeah. his hands are starting to tingle and get hot. hands are cold. Well, that's good. Yeah. One hand cold, yeah. one on house. So, so you're, you're feeling energies. Mm. You're starting yeah. to yeah. Rece- you're, you're you. receptible yeah. to See, the energies. I can feel the heat off here. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's getting really hot. hot. Yeah, that's me. Really so hot. that's warming you. What we'll do yeah. then it's is it's warming yeah. you. It's warming yeah. you up as it's letting you know that mm. that we've let them know that we're here now. Oh. You know the entities, and well, if you get a tingling to... sensation yeah. as well, mm-hmm. it's like you're starting to open up more to it. When, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not here to disrespect any yeah. spirits. No. I'm not here to take the mich out of any no. spirits, but I'm here to have fun mm-hmm. and have it a nice. Instead of it being a doomy, gloomy thing, I'd like to see a positive, happy, you know, a bit of fun, a bit of reality, Mm -hmm. and see what what happens. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to ask both of you, if it's possible, would I be able to contact you and get you on the phone and ask you what you felt after you'd been here? Of course. Is that okay? Is that okay with you? That's amazing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. So we'll have a good chat on that and we'll do it that way. Yeah. What I'm going to do, I'm going to let you carry on now because I'm coming with you and I can't wait for it tonight because we haven't done any yesterday. Oh. Chrissy's on her way out now. So, oh, no. Chrissy, thank you so much for your, you. your joining in there. And Lady C, thank oh, you so thank much. You. And I can't welcome. wait for thank tonight. So, so that was Chrissy yeah. and Lady C. And um, we're on our way down into the cellars and we'll tell you what it was like later on. So, Jonathan, Marie. Yeah, that was Chrissy and Lady C when they came in the other week. How, how interesting are they? You know, they, they sounded excited about it, didn't they? They really did. And not doing a ghost hunt either. Or Chrissy Rock only doing one. Yeah, she she went with another group, and um, you know, the, the group were more frightened than she was. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious, isn't yeah. it? But I'm, I mean, I, I can't tell you what happened in the cell. I mean, it, 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 they done the comedy side of the paranormal. Yeah, That's all I'm going to say. That. It wasn't yeah. a serious investigation, but after we'd finished the filming and everything else, we did do, we did do a, a little bit of a serious mm-hmm. investigation, and strangely enough, it was it was really weird, you know, uh, things went on. Great. But I think I'll leave that for Chrissy and Lady C to tell you about. Yeah, yeah, yeah look that'd forward be great. To that. yeah. yeah. So we're not far off the end of the show now. It seems to have gone quick this week. It does. Well, it would be for you, John, wouldn't it? You know, you only just turned up halfway well, through it. Well, well, you know, you know. You know. <laughs> And Marie, <laughs> yeah, you you were the same. Well, no, you were here, weren't you? You just disappeared yeah. somewhere. Yeah, I went to go get a brew, didn't I? When I was <laughs> no change I was doing there. A bit of recording. And then you yeah. suggested bringing a Tassimo into the office. In, well, into the office, into the <laughs> studio. I did. I think I'd, that's I'd a damn good idea. I think oh, that's yeah. a great idea. Oh, yeah, yeah, it'd be great for you two. You two be sipping away, and I'm trying to talk to you. <laughs> I think you don't. All you do, Jamie. all you do. Is <laughs> That's all you do, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't yeah. go to bring the testimony. Uh, yeah. yeah. Am I? Am I the only one who's serious here? <laughs> serious? <laughs> With all the goings on? What? <laughs> what all goings on? All the things that happen on these investigations. Yeah. Well, come on then. Now, now you've opened the book here. You've a book, a book of worms. That is. Can you think of any? Well, it's not a book Where of worms. It's a can of worms. Can of worms. Can of worms. <laughs> that's the one. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So come on. Op- you know, y- you brought well, it up. Come on. Well, that's the I first can, time. Can, I've, that's the first yeah. time I've heard Marie go quiet. So I can think of something, Jamie. Oh, oh go okay. On. Go on then. And there will be payback. I've got to say. On on me or you? Mm. That's that's the worry. Uh, the worry is it's on Marie. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Tell me what it was then, cause because I haven't got a clue. Bec- because I was walking somewhere not so long ago. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, someone jumped out at me. <laughs> it wasn't Marie by any chance, was and it? And my heart is still pounding <laughs> now. <laughs> oh God, did you jump funny. out on him? I did. But the funny thing was, I even had me light at the top of the stairs so he wouldn't fall down the stairs. So okay. he had me mobile phone with the light torch on. Mm. And then as he was coming closer and closer, I'd slowly move it back. <laughs> and he didn't even notice, so then I put my phone no. to my chest, so there was no light showing. And then I just goes, hiya, Jonathan, whoa. <laughs> 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 I 
I won't tell you the way to set it. <laughs> <laughs> Did it end with a K? It might have, yeah. <laughs> I thought it might have, yeah. A few oh, beeps. I, yeah. I mean, when we when we were doing that, um, the recording for the, the investigation, yeah. and I, we wa- I walked through the doors from the, uh, the ward room, mm. and there's a mirror on the wall, wasn't there? And um, yeah. as I walked past it, I, f- I didn't realise it was there, and I jumped that one. Yeah, yeah. And then, when I was coming in tonight to record this, I didn't realise that they put a Christmas tree up. <laughs> no decorations <laughs> on it, but they put it in the corner. You know, as you come in the main door and you walk along, and you got the double white yeah, doors. I know, they yeah. put it in the corner there, so I walk through, and I'm used to seeing nothing there. Well, I nearly dropped my lunch. In <laughs> fact. <laughs> if I'd have had my lunch, I would have dropped it. Yeah. <laughs> because the tree was there, and uh, I mean, we're paranormal investigators, and I'm frightened of a tree. <laughs> yeah, but you're frightened Just of your own figure as well, or you think somebody's there? Yeah, frightened of my own yeah. figure. Yeah. I've seen it a few times in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> the little story about that one is in the mirror. Yeah. Oh. We went on an invest. Yeah. And you went, oh, I'm going, look, I'll just go find whoever it was, such a body. This is the theatre story, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go and on, then. And then I said, oh, right. And he goes, oh, he's there now. And I goes, where? And he goes, there. I goes, Jamie, that's you in the mirror. <laughs> 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 this mirror was yeah. about, I'd say, about six mm. foot by about four foot across. And then as we're coming back, and he goes, oh, there he is again. And then it was you again. <laughs> I mean, twice in the same night. Right. Really? Well, Oh you, you're no. not going to believe it. It's the end of the show. Oh, so God. You're just getting out of this one, Jamie. <laughs> yeah, I'm, suppo- I'm sure it'll happen on the next ones anyway. <laughs> yeah, we, we're coming to the end of the show, so I'd like to thank, well, Magister for coming in. Magister. Magister coming in um, earlier on. I'd also like to thank Jonathan Sullivan for being here. Mm-hmm. And, well, I would like to thank Marie as well, but now they're bringing up the history of the stories on me. <laughs> I don't think I will. But anyway, it's the end of the show, and we'll be back again next week. So please stay safe and tune in and see what comes on next week. Thank you for listening to Access Paranormal.